bro, I don't even know where to begin with the news today. But I do know where to begin. But we got some crazy news. The price of next-gen games, the date of the next Nintendo Direct, way sooner than anyone could have expected. Also, major controversy in the fighting community. I mean, from Smash, Street Fighter, Evo, it's all crazy. Dude's going to jail, probably. And last but not least, an insane, insane Battle Royale gets officially revealed. Let's all, let's talk about all of this in one epic video. Yes, right. What's up? All right. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? Before we get started with the video, all right, give it a thumbs up. Let's get right to the news. We may have just gotten the price, the standard price for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X games. $70. That's right. This comes through the official reveal of NBA 2K21, the game I'm going to be on the most on my gaming channel. Obi-Wan plays gaming championship. That's going to be my game, bro. Probably going to pre-order it on the PlayStation 5. But, bro, current gen versions, the standard $60 price. PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X versions are $70, bucks, bro. And here's my thing, I'm not that upset, but I was a Nintendo 64 fan, bro. Nintendo 64 cartridges <laughs> were $70, $80 already, bro. <laughs> and this was in 1996. And so, um, and another thing is why I'm not too crazy upset, bro. I was a old school, old head gamer, bro. I remember going to Toys R Us, picking up my ticket, a four games for forty nine dollars on the NES, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo. Get the games, man! I get so excited every time I think about it. Get your Toys R Us ticket, bring it to the front counter to get your game. And that's when games were fifty bucks, bro, forty nine ninety nine. And then once we got to the HD three D era, about the Xbox three sixty, it jumped to sixty bucks. Was it sixty bucks before then? Either way. We went about two generations of keeping it at 60, even though development costs stayed the same. And I think the games are going to be even more expensive. I think it's to offset development costs because making these triple A huge games are going to be risky, bro. High risk, high reward. You invest all that money in development and if the game flops, and so developers need some incentive, something to offset it. Now, do I think every game is going to be 70? I think just the big, big triple A games will be 70. You will have some mid tier games that will probably still come in at 60. And of course, indie games at variable prices. But NBA 2K21, a couple of cool things. This game is steeped in controversy too. Um, let me share the information. If you buy the Mamba edition, the Legend edition for 100 bucks on PlayStation 4, you get the PlayStation 5 version for free. Oh, don't worry, we're getting to the Nintendo Direct news too. But will all of your progress transfer over? In 2K's press release, it only said my team points, tokens, cards, blah, 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 um, transfer over from the Xbox One to Xbox Series. Nothing about my career which is the biggest mode in the game where they make most of their money. That includes Park. Everyone plays Park in that game. 
And so is, is 2K trying to, okay, we give you the game free next gen, but you got to start over in park where dudes pay $50 anyway to upgrade their characters to 85 VC and all that. And so they better have park a free upgrade. All right, next news item. Nintendo Direct. Rumors are heating up. That we're going to be getting a Nintendo Direct in the month of July. We are in July already. And coming from a reliable source. Some dude named Kilios, <coughs> who's a webmaster for the fan site Pokekelos. And he correctly predicted the March 2020 Nintendo Direct event. And... He's also been noted to have legitimate information sources within Nintendo, adding a lot of credibility to a July Nintendo Direct. We're fresh off of so the PlayStation 5's epic reveal, one of the best presentations I've ever seen. And I've been seeing a lot of presentations over my years of gaming. Um, PlayStation has the Direct. Xbox sort of flopped on their first Direct. They need to bring it. Um, so Xbox is also scheduled to have a direct um, a presentation in July. So we could be getting two gaming directs in the month of July, which would be lit. I'll tell you, man, Nintendo. Man. I don't know what Nintendo could be. Uh, this, this, this next Nintendo direct to get me hyped for Nintendo, but we'll have to wait and see. There's a heavily rumored the Mario games, the Mario remake games, but beaten all those games already so we'll have to see what nintendo has up this sleeve. but never count nintendo out bro they have games up their sleeves switch no games this year except for animal crossing 800 800 000 sold in april <laughs> and so that's the switch bro uh, of course that's a lot of casual um because a lot of people who typically don't play like gaming gaming picked up animal crossing but my brother's brother called me saying that his wife wanted um a, looking for a switch for animal crossing and she doesn't play video games i knew animal crossing was going to carry the switch uh, for 2020 all right the next news is crazy bro first i saw capcom uh, made a statement um saying that oh, i think it's oshinoro the the dude for street fighter saying that they're pulling Street Fighter out of EVO this year because of the allegations. And then other fighting fighters started to put like, what allegations? Well, um, EVO's co-founder and president has um, been, um, uh, there's been serious allegations, sexual allegations that he, misconduct on his part against participants that were actually under age participants in evo that were under age joey sular um evo has c since come out with a statement evo has actually been canceled this year they were already switching to an online format <coughs> because of the pandemic the coronavirus but because of these allegations they decided to just go ahead there's laura that's my main now in street fighter 5 who want a street fighter smoke bruh game go on my gaming channel open one place gaming championships get wrecked um and so evo has been canceled this year um, Evo has since removed him from all of Evo. He'll be no longer involved with Evo in any capacity, said an official statement. But that's crazy. And it gets, because of that, more allegations started to come out. And this one directly impacting the Super Smash Brothers community. One in particular, Super Smash Brothers player. Nairo, he's being accused of sexual misconduct with a minor as well. Others, um, um, D-Ron, um, also known as D-1, he's being accused of some stuff that happened in Orlando. And so it's crazy right now um, in the Smash community. We're going to have to see what all comes of this, but you never want to hear stuff like this going on when it comes to gaming.
crazy stuff, bro. And last but not least, the last news item to put it on a more upbeat note. Hyperscape has been officially, officially revealed. I have to admit, it looks pretty cool. You're set in a virtual reality type world. You're not playing, it's not VR, but sort of like the Matrix where it's not a real world. It's like a computerized world. And the gameplay looks intense. It looks crazy. It looks cool. Um, a lot of unique, unique specials. Um, the game emphasizes vertical, ver, ver, verticality. Um, going up. <laughs> um, crazy jumping. It just looks over the top. The one bummer is the beta right now is just for PC. So they seem to be focusing on PC first before they bring it to console. I could imagine by the time the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, this game will definitely be out on console. Probably sooner than that. Because it's set to launch sometime in July, PC, and then console. So we have to see. All right, dudes, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things game, bro. We out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later deuces